What is up, everybody? Doctor Movie here today. Don't even start laughing. <laughs> yeah, I can't do this. I can't do this. <laughs> What is up everybody, the doctor's in. With a special guest today, I have talked about him a couple times in previous videos. He's probably my number one fan and we also discuss movies every day on Facebook and Twitter and he calls me at least, what, twice a week? Yeah, to, pretty much. To bother me. It is my brother, we call him Sergeant Prizzy. That's kind of a nickname because he kind of runs our family, but his real name's Sam, so. Sergeant. It's a big year this year. I can't believe it's over. We saw so many films. 2013 and 2014 is approaching quickly. And I exactly. Am, oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> so in, instead of doing a, a best of the worst of this year, let's look ahead. We've already seen a lot of trailers. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And, and I'm really excited and pumped to see what's 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 going on. And so we decided to do a top ten. Um, video, or movies that we're very excited to uh, see. For 2014. For 2014. I, I think the number one thing that you and I talk about more than anything is Marvel. Oh, yeah, for sure, Marvel. Marvel all day, every day. I know previously Dr. Movie has talked about Thor The Dark World, and I love Thor, just putting that out there, <laughs> for a big Marvel fan. So that was a great movie to end the year of 2013. With Marvel, because I don't think, is there any more Marvel coming out since Thor? No. Anyway, so let's jump into our top 10. Number... I don't want to... You know, I'm not even going to give numbers for these. Screw that. Yeah, um, we're just going to talk we're about... We're just going to talk about them. The movies of 2014 that we're most anticipated about. So, Marvel has been a big year. As you said, you're a huge Thor fan. Mm -hmm. And I am most excited about X-Men Days of Future Past. Which is weird, because they only released one teaser trailer, and they're already talking about... Apocalypse. Yeah. Coming out in, what, 2015? Yeah, you told me about that, actually. Well, we're off subject now. How do you feel about the new X-Men? Uh, I'm actually really pumped about it, to be honest, because uh, me in general, I've always been a big X-Men fan. Love Wolverine. Loved all, of, what, X-Men 1, 2, and 3. Well, technically, it was, what, X-Men. Well, yeah, it was 1, 2, 3. Yeah. And then you have First Class. And now you have, what, Days of Future Past... And which interesting is because this movie interreacts with both what the the past and, and the future and the future. So they're gonna bring back the old characters and the new characters and have them both in one movie. Yeah. So well, old cast, new so, cast. Yeah, old cast, new cast, bring them together. Which I I couldn't agree with you more. I am very excited. I, I feel the same way. Also big in Marvel, Spider Man Two. Sorry, the Amazing Spider Man Two. I um. Go ahead first. How do you feel about it? Um, I'm pretty excited, but. Then again, I really don't follow comic books as much as I know my brother does. So therefore, I'm excited to see it because I really enjoyed the first one and how they rebooted the whole. This is why I wanted to have him because, as he said, I am a comic book guru. He would disagree. I'm excited on a lot of notes. I haven't talked about it yet. I didn't even want. I, I saw so many good videos on the trailer talk, but I didn't really want to you know, go into detail or anything. So, I, I'm looking forward to it. I, I just have one little fear, in, and that is that there's going to be too many villains. There's going to be too much going on, and the story's just not going to flow nice. Other than that, I'm actually very excited. And a, I probably, my top Marvel movie next year that's coming out is, is Captain America, The Winter Soldier. My favorite villain of all time has to be The Winter Soldier. I'm, I'm not going to talk about his name. I'm not going to go into detail. I just really love Chris Evans. I think he's an amazing star of the of the you know film, and he is a, the best person to play Captain America, in my opinion. What do you think about it? Um, I'm very excited for it. I'm not going to give away the name about the Winter Soldier or anything either, since he did not. Um, I, when I first saw Captain America, I wasn't really too big on it, but after I watched it like two or three more times again through Netflix, uh, it really caught my eye. So now I'm very excited to see uh, the new one coming out in 2014 this year. Right. And to kind of keep going with this sci-fi superhero stuff, I'm really, really pumped, and I don't know why, about the new Transformers uh, Age of Extinction because I love Michael Bay, first off, and I thought he did a phenomenal job with the first three films. And 
I, I'm kind of curious to see what they do with the storyline. We haven't really saw much. All we really know, Mark Wahlberg's in it. And not Shia LaBeouf, who and was the, in the, what, the main, the first, what, three? Yeah, and it was bad, so, it, it was bad enough when Megan Fox left and they added that new girl. Yeah. And then, I forget her name. And then now they take off Shia LaBeouf, who is, you know, Bumblebee's, you know, guardian. Yeah, I mean, he, pretty much. Yeah, he's, so. he saved the world twice. So we'll have to wait and see. I'm really excited, though. Um, I don't know how what, they're, what the even stories are even really about. I just know that a, a Mark Wahlberg is a father and him and his daughter get caught up into a big mess. We'll have to wait and see. Yeah. I'm really, really pumped about that. So let's take a... Let's take a, sh uh, a shift here from all this superhero talk to not so superhero talk. I already did a video on it. Godzilla. I am very pumped about Godzilla. Anything to do with monsters and destroying stuff. I mean, everybody knows that's seen my Godzilla uh, trailer review knows that I was very excited. If not, annotation right there. Check it out. Yeah, I'm I'm really excited. But what about you? Uh, I don't really know much about Godzilla. No, we've never really seen any of the older films since I'm younger. Um, I watched his teaser trailer that he posted, and it was it was really uh, cool and interesting how they made it like real, like everything was like just so serious and was like, oh my gosh, just what's gonna happen? And just mad, mad cliffhanger. So I'll probably go see it. Plus, Brian Cranston, if anybody knows Breaking oh, Bad, yeah. Walter White, I forgot about that. Heisenberg. That's a one big thing oh, I want yeah, to see because of Brian Cranston. Yeah, because you are a big, huge Cranston fan, so mm -hmm. that's awesome. And, you know, and another film that I'm really excited about, but I didn't see the first one, and you keep yelling at me about this because you've been pushing this on me for months, and it is on my uh, movie list. I, I haven't seen it yet, and um, I really want to see... The Rise of the Planet Apes. I haven't seen that yet. Now, we, I know that came out in 2011. Yes. So, why don't you tell everybody, since I don't know about the new one that's coming out, what do you know about the new one? Um, well, from the new one, uh, the first one, first of all, starring in Rise of the Planet of the Apes, is James Franco, who everybody knows James Franco. Yeah. He's a big Sp actor. Spider-Man. Yeah. Yeah, he did, what, Pirates of the Caribbean? No, 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 no. No. No, no, no. That's uh, Orlando Bloom. And that's Johnny Depp. And Orlando Bloom. Okay, yeah. But yeah, I can't. Never mind. This is why he's telling me. I'm done. <laughs> anyway, so in the movie, the, uh, the the main ape named Caesar, well, they give him the name Caesar becomes. They give him, from what I remember, a like a shot of stuff that makes him really, really brilliant, and he becomes smarter than any other ape, pretty much. And, and people, or and is he? Or he is... pretty much becomes so smart by the end of the movie, he starts to be able to talk like a normal human okay and basically what he does is he gets he he realizes that his ape race is like his race and not the human race and he gets all the apes in there to basically leave and go to the forest where they're supposed to be belong and from what i'm getting from this new one which is coming out dawn of the planet of the apes which i am very i don't know about upset or just what they're going to do is james franco is not in this one and from what I got from the teaser trailer that I saw, that it looks like it's going to be Caesar leading all of his people to go attack the humans now. So when you mean the people that you're talking about, the the apes, the, the human race, like the apes are going to be, it seems like that they're going to be like going after the human race. Now I don't know about I, we keep talking about superhero movies and, and weird stuff like that and monsters and dragons and uh, apes and but I'm I'm really excited for I Frankenstein. Yeah, I like all those those types of films. So Frankenstein, it looks like, from what I read and what I saw, it's not really Frankenstein. It's the son of Frankenstein. Is is what I'm getting at. I don't know much about Frankenstein. I've never seen. I mean, I mean, I've seen bits and pieces of Frankenstein monster, like old, old, old black and white movie or whatever it was. But again, since I'm younger, I don't know. All I know is that it was just a monster that called Frankenstein, yeah. more or less. But anyway, he goes after, it looks like, and he has to save the planet from all the lichens. I'm pretty sure they're lichens, or vampires, or some sort of awesome-looking monster. And the CGI looks really, really cool, and it just seems like one of the... Kind of like a priest that's just non-stop action-killing fun. And oh, I yeah. like those kind of movies. All right, so let's kind of get away from death and destruction and talk about probably my favorite toy growing up, and he'll vouch for this, was... Anybody's toy, especially <laughs> especially a boy. Yeah. If you were a little kid and you had these, 
you were playing with them and you were building stuff yeah. all day, every day. The, the Lego movie, I, I, I'm just... First off, you have such a great cast. Second off, it's Legos, and, and, and they really did a good job, like, you know, capturing the, the faces, and they really made it look like Legos, and you have Morgan Freeman, and um, uh, Liam Net Neeson, and just all those really cool, like, just little cameos, which I really enjoy, too, and the story, awesome. Plain, oh, yeah. and, plain and simple. I think it comes in 3D, too, which I'm actually really excited about. I'm very excited for it. I'm going to go see it. Before we, uh, we got two left. So we're gonna let you talk about yours, because since we've already talked about Heisenberg, so why don't we talk about Jesse Pinkman? Oh uh, yeah, and for anybody again that watches Breaking Bad, Jesse Pinkman, who is played by the star of Aaron Paul, who I loved in the show. I did too. And he was an amazing actor. There's a new movie coming out called Need for Speed. I don't know much about it, but Aaron Paul, love him. So I'm very excited for it. All I know is it has something to do with. I'm gonna go with racing. Some type of racing movie. I don't know if it's like the Fast and Furious series racing or if it's something completely different. Just I think it's it's like Fast and Furious in a sense where nice cars and for fast cars, women and a crazy lifestyle. But I think it's more racing for money and stuff like that. We're kind of like in the beginning. I don't know. I, I really don't know. But from watching the, the, the trailer, it seems just crazy. Oh, yeah. The cars alone are nuts. You know, ten years later, back in 1994, I remember watching this film all the time with my cousin and friends, Dumb and Dumber. I'm a huge Jeff Daniels fan and an even bigger Jim Carrey fan. I love Jim Carrey. Yes. And for them to come back, I think it's pretty gutsy. Yeah. Because... Uh, I'm very anxious to see it because yeah. whenever they do this kind of ten-year movie thing, it's either... A good movie or bad or bad. There's no like, oh yeah, that movie was okay. okay it's either yeah. like, either wow, that was really good, or that movie just nothing. It's yeah, just... we'll have to wait and see what it's about. But we're very excited, and you know, that's just a few of the movies that are coming out. There's a million, like you know, there's there's you oh, know, yeah. Hunger Games, Hercules. There's just a million of these movies that are coming out. And it's just, I think it's going to be a good year. I don't know how they're going to top 2013 because there's just been a million movies and it's been a good year overall for 2013 and I'm really excited. I know you're really excited because we talk more about future movies than we do what's now. Thank you everybody for joining us on another video. And I'd like to thank Dr. Movie for having me as a special guest. Always. And if you like this kind of dynamic duo type video let us know please leave the comments if you want to see more with him just let us know well, i'll be we'll back we're both college students so we'll be home back in the movie den for a couple couple weeks yeah and always don't forget to follow me on twitter don't forget to like this video and do not forget to subscribe the doctor's always looking for patience and new movie fanatics so as always everybody happy watching and take care